Now, let's talk about the border crisis. Fox News has obtained an internal Border Patrol memo sent to agents in San Diego after President Biden's executive order came into effect. The memo instructs them to release single adult migrants from all but six countries in the Eastern Hemisphere, classifying them as hard or very hard to remove. So unless you're from one of these six countries, you're fine. Uh, if you, unless you're from Russia, Georgia, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Moldova, um, they, they're the mandatory referral countries. So despite this Biden promise to finally do something about the border crisis, it seems like Nothing is going to change. The overwhelming majority are going to be released into the US just as they have been for the last three years. Well, Rita, there's a sad reality that the Mexican cartels are almost as powerful as the American government. I mean, they can, these coyotes are sex trafficking, they're, you know, a drug trafficking across the border. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous if you look what's going on. Drug overdoses are up uh, over 100,000 drug overdoses this past year. And they could care less about the fentanyl that's coming across the border. And, you know, and they mentioned the six countries where people aren't allowed to come. There's still terrorists, people on the terrorist FBI watch list that are, that are getting caught coming through our southern border. So these immigrants that are, you know, seeking asylum, they know how to play the system better than most Americans do. And that's why they're able to get social services and help from the government and free flights and free hotel rooms in, in New York City when uh, a lot of Americans are struggling just to afford groceries or fill up their gas tanks. So is really, really sad because we have enough resources to help Americans, but our government ra would rather help out the citizens of foreign countries that don't really care about America when they come here. Now, I like the style of the uh, Boston Celtics coach. Uh, the media tried to get him involved in this race politics uh, and uh, asked him a race-based question, but he gave them a faith-based Answer. Let's have a look. Hey, Joe, uh, Vince Gilbert, Yahoo Sports. For the first time since 1975, this is the NBA Finals where you have two black head coaches. Uh, given the plight sometimes of black head coaches in the NBA, do you think this is a significant moment? Do you take pride in this? How do you view this or do you not see it at all? I wonder how many of those have been Christian coaches. David Aldridge? Oh, I just love the silence there. They were just shocked, Alex. They were expecting some sort of victimhood statement. And instead he asked, how many of them are Christian coaches? Well, you know why they were so silent? Because in the mainstream media, they're not even allowed to basically acknowledge that God is real. So it really threw them for a loop. And we need more people that are actually not afraid of their faith. So that's a great guy speaking for what he believes in, not his race, but, uh, you know, his faith in the Lord. And it's not a first time. I remember uh, not long ago they were asking him about, I don't know, some royals who were in the crowd and uh, and he said, the only royal family I acknowledge is uh, Jesus and, 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 and Joseph and Mary. So he's, uh, he sticks to those lines. And that's why he's successful probably. Alex Stein, we love you. You've behaved yourself in the past week from what I can see. So thank you for that. But uh, I've got my eyes on you because some of your shenanigans of late are going to get you into trouble, son. I know. I'll try to stay out of trouble. I'll be in Las Vegas this week. So we'll see what happens at Las Vegas Pride. Oh, yeah, great. Me,